Hi, my name is Eddie from Activity Messenger, and in this video, we're going to create a registration form with multiple class options on it. So in this example, we're taking kind of a swim school, swim lessons, um, which would have multiple locations and multiple age groups. So instead of having parents search around for, for the information, we have this kind of conditional logic where people can say, okay, I'm looking at location one. It's going to populate all the uh, options at location one, and then they can go, I'm actually looking for four to six year old. So that will only bring up all the classes in that location that are offered for that age group. So there aren't that many classes on this form, but you can see that if I go to six to eight, then it's going to show me at location one, the six to eight options. And if I go to location two, it's going to show me that six to uh, eight year old location two option. So let's say I want to register for this four to six year old. I would come in here and write in the information um, from there. I could add uh, my medical information as well. And then this just tells me that there's a membership required. So if you have a membership, we can make it required for people who register when they, um, when they register, they have to pay for it if they don't have it. If they have it, they're just gonna skip over it on the invoice. Then people will just come in and easily put their account owner name, you know, fill in the different information, the other parent, I'm just gonna go quickly through it, uh, emergency contacts, right? And then would simply have to sign the waiver and click on continue. This will bring me to my invoice. Uh, and then from there, I will be able to confirm and pay uh, by credit card. This is a demo account, so there's no credit card linked to it, but that's where they would make the payment. So it'd be that simple to really just filter through classes and go through and, find, and pay for the class. Now, if I go on the design of this, how do I build this out, right? Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is build the form. So this is, we integrate with Canva. You can easily, you know, make it edit in Canva. So you can really create your own, uh, Canva design. Um, this was actually written with chat GPT. So we integrate with AI as well. So you have an AI assistant here to improve, translate, uh, you know, start writing, generating text for you, uh, for your registration form. Now, what I did here is the multiple class options. So. What I came in is I said, I have to find the source. The source is actually the winter 2024. So this, this brought in all the classes that had a tag of winter 2024. And then I decided which filter I want to show. So obviously in your organization, you might have different filters. Maybe you only have one location. Maybe you have more than two locations. Maybe you have many more age groups. You might want to show by uh, discipline, right? Maybe it's like competitive, non-competitive. So you decide how you want parents to filter through and quickly find their class everything on a single form, and they will be able to register multiple kids. So if I go into the rule here and I click on modify, I can apply different rules so I can activate the wait list, show classes by tags, different participant just means that this specific class is for a participant. Um, so for a child participant, for example, you can add multiple, so you can have two kids, uh, three kids on the same form. Uh, if you don't require membership, that's when I would just toggle that off date of birth, you can add constraints, medical information. So you can really pre-apply coupon code, all these different rules that you have, you can just simply add them to this form. And uh, you can add as many rules as you want for different age groups or different categories, if you wish. Um, and then, you know, you'd have account owner, other parent, emergency contact, then you, you'd be able to add your waiver and get the signature. Um, and so that's kind of how to create the form. And if I backtrack a little and go see how to create a class, um, because we're gonna have all these classes on a single form, right? But when they select different classes, it's important that they are, people are pushed to the right attendance list, to the, uh, you know, the right limits, if there's only 12 spots, six spots, whatever. So I'll just give you an example here of the swim class two to three year olds. Um, the tags that I put in are the ones that are going to help filter through for parents to find the clock class quickly. I put a price, maximum attendance. We also have payment plans. So you can add a payment plan where people pay a certain percentage upfront. And then, you know, there's three, four more installments, however you want uh, for parents to pay. You would add a location. Uh, what's the schedule like, right? So this is kind of a weekly class. I see there's a little mistake here from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., you know, starting on January 14th. What's the registration period? So it's gonna block before and at the end of the registration and a few other things. So you would create all your classes with the right tags and then they will automatically be pushed to that registration form that has all the multiple classes there where people can either pick two classes for the same kid or just register as many kids on the same invoice as they want. 
So if this was useful and you'd like to learn more, visit activitymessenger.com.